The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering with pain that just won't go away, we're here to help. And one of the most common complaints we hear about, knee pain. But what if I told you it's possible to avoid surgery just by getting an injection? Barbie decided to try it out. I'm an interior designer in Boulder, Colorado. One of the beauties of being here is being able to be active. Five years ago, I had a tiny tear in my meniscus, so I needed to have surgery on my knee. While I was in surgery, the doctor found out that there was no cartilage on my knee that was adhering. It was coming off, as she put it, like formica off a piece of wood. After my surgery, my knee was worse. It stopped me from doing anything. Going downstairs, bending my knee, I have to be careful. I did not hike the Grand Canyon, and that's been a dream of mine since I was 16 years old. I want to feel young and vibrant again and not feel like I'm 80. The clinic has been open and using stem cells to try to help patients do through an injection what used to be done through a surgery. I'm going to take this needle and just work it back and forth gently. It just went right through the bone there. I'll then pull out what looks like thick blood. That's actually the bone marrow aspirate that's rich in stem cells. This will now go down to the lab to isolate the stem cell fraction in the bone marrow. So uh, the sample is now centrifuged, and that will separate out the various layers of the marrow, and that's the layer in the bone marrow that has the most stem cells. This is the patient's marrow concentrate. Everything that we wanted as far as stem cells are still in there. You see the two bones of the knee? the meniscus in this area, and the medial collateral ligament right there. Dr. Hansen is going to take stem cells now and place them directly into the meniscus tear. The cells are now filling up the tear in the meniscus. Our goal is to try to get that tear to now mend and to regenerate some tissue right at that spot. We're all done, and I hope it wasn't too bad. We'll try to see if we can get you hiking the Grand Canyon again. Please welcome Barbie and one of our orthopedic physicians, Dr. Ron Hansen, to the show. Welcome. Thank you. So, really, you're using relatively new technology here. And so, Barbara, you're someone who, how recently did you have this injection done? Uh, Monday morning. Monday morning. So, probably not going to see a lot of results in just a few days, correct? Actually, it depends a lot on the patients. Most of them start to feel some relief within a few days to a few weeks. All the patients actually walk out of our office, and within three to four days, they're actively exer exercising to help the stem cells know what to become. So you're feeling better already? I feel great. Before this, I was having trouble walking. I was, ha I mean, I just went like that, and my knee we had to be iced for hours. All right, so do I we mean, have some so footage of you? Earlier today, so. Oh, earlier today. Oh, this is after the... navigating the, the stairs there, so. Yeah, this, uh, three days after having this procedure, I'm fine. So me, it's a pretty big joint. Is this being used in smaller joints as well? Yes, thumb joints, small joints in the feet, um, and tendons and ligaments, very common thing that we work on as well. I have to ask your permission. Can we look at your MRI? Yes. So this is your knee MRI. Let, let's go over and look at this MRI really quickly to show some results to the viewers. And I want you to highlight because some people may not really be able to tell what we're looking at. So this is her knee joint before. Absolutely, Dr. Travis. This is the lower bone or the tibia, um, and this is the upper bone. This is her cartilage lining her tibia, the gray on either side. She's starting to, f to lose some cartilage. That's the white area in the middle of all that gray, which uh, is going to eventually erode everything around that area. Now, afterwards, that area is completely filled in. There's gray, all the same and similar color all the way around it. And just, I'm going to highlight just so everyone sees what, th this is the femur bone on top of the tibia bone here, right? Yep. And this is the joint space. And so even though it's really subtle for people at home, this little bit, this little bit of white there has been improved. The cartilage has literally improved before and after. Now, this is a knee. This but is a you're knee. saying that you're, you're also using this for other things. And what we have here is a picture of a rotator cuff tear. So walk us through before and after an injection here. This is the, the ball of the shoulder, the, the humerus. And the tendons coming across here, the rotator cuff, you can see here there's a large gap from here to here. That was read by the radiologist to be a one-inch gap. 
in his rotator cuff, uh, supraspinatus rotator cuff tendon. Afterwards, this is seven months later, with a procedure that took one day to do, he's got this one little spot left. And so this one little spot for everyone. And I don't expect everyone at home to learn how to read MRIs based on this, but what you're seeing here is an injury that typically takes six months plus healing much more quickly. And what, as we go back and, and talk to Barbie, one of the things I wanna, wanna ask you is, people will hear your story and they'll say, oh, wait, wait a minute, this is, this is too good to be true. This is really still in its infancy. Still in its, in, in its infancy, we, we spent all of our time making sure that the procedures were safe and that they were effective. Not everybody is a candidate for this, and we're very careful to tell people what they can do to improve themselves, things that they can do to help their chances of doing well with or without stem cell therapies. And that's a great take home. There's so many things we can do to improve our joint health that goes beyond just surgery. Barbara, we're so happy that you're feeling better. I no longer feel like I'm aging. Good luck on the hike. Yeah. I look forward to hearing about Dr. Hansen. Thank you for coming on and coming up.